Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here, and today we're going to be going over the second deck from Crossover Breakers. Now, this is going to be the Long Hua deck, or we're going to be calling it the Draco Legends. So let's get right into it and see how broken these cards can get. First off, we're going to be looking at the first monster being Dino Kano, the Draco Legend Kuaiba. It is a level 10 Earth Dinosaur effect monster with 3,000 attack and 1,200 defense, and you can only use your first and second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can shuffle this card from your hand into the deck, add one Draco Legend Dino Kano Ascension Gate from your deck to your hand. And during the main phase, if, you, if two or more cards were destroyed this turn, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can place one piece of Draco Legend Dino Kano Ascension Gate you control on the bottom of the deck, then target other cards on the field up to the number of types of Hmong monsters on the field, destroy them. So realistically, you could run this in your dinosaur decks with Lithio Sagem, but also being able to get out a respective continuous spell is very nice, and being able to place it back to destroy cards on the field up to the type of monsters is really useful at the end of the day. So next up, we're going to be looking at the next level 10. Now, one thing I do want to note, they're based off of Dinosaur, Sea Serpent, Worm, and Dragon. All level 10s, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what the rest of this deck does, because this next one is my favorite via the art, being Seafall Draco Legend Wanpa. It is a level 10 water Sea Serpent effect monster, 3000 attack and 2000 defense, and you can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can discard this card and add one Draco... Legend, Seafall, Ascension Gate from your deck to your hand, and during your main phase, if two or more monsters other than Seafall, Draco Legend, Wanba, have been sent from the hand and or deck to the graveyard this turn, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. You can place one face up Draco Legend, Seafall, Ascension Gate, you control on the bottom of the deck, banish your opponent's entire hand, and if they, and if you do, they draw the same number of cards, so being able to trickstar reincarnation in your opponent's hand can be very detrimental because that is free knowledge. And also, I like this whole thing where they search out their own gate and they can place it back to the bottom of the deck to get a respective effect, which I really do like for this theme. And now finally for the last main deck monster, well, main deck effect monster, I should say, it is going to be the Wind Worm of the Draco Legends, being Worm Haze Draco Legend Baba. It is a level 10 Wind Worm effect monster with 3000 attack and 1500 defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can banish the card from your hand, add one Draco Legend Worm Haze Ascension Gate from your deck to your hand. And if a monster becomes banished face up while this card is banished, and there are currently two or more banished monsters other than Worm Haze Draco Legends Baba, you can special summon this card. You can place one face up Draco Legend Worm Haze Ascension Gates you control on the bottom of the deck, add one Draco Legend card from your deck, graveyard, or banishment to your hand except Worm Haze Draco Legend Baba. This is going to be one of your main three ups because it allows you to get to any of your Draco Legend cards from anywhere. That's from your deck, graveyard, or banishment, and being able to freely extend from the banished, which is really, really useful, especially if you want to run things like Arch Nemesis Protoss or Arch Nemesis Ashados. Afterwards, we have the boss monster of the deck, and honestly, this is a, you're a grown person, you could read the card yourself, because this card has so much text, it took me a little bit just to read it normally. We have Genesis Drago Legend Guanba. It is a level 10 light dragon ritual pendulum effect monster, already a mouthful, with 3500 attack and 2500 defense, and it's a pendulum scale of zero. The pendulum effect is you can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. During your main phase, you can add one Draco Legend card from your deck to your hand, except the pendulum monster, then destroy this card. The monster effect is you could ritual summon this card with Genesis Dragon. Draco Legend Guanba, and must be special summoned by its own effects. You can only special summon Genesis Draco Legend Guanba's once per turn. If a monster is on the field, it's destroyed by battle or card effect. While this card is in your, the extra deck, you could tribute one level 10 Draco Legend monster, and if you do special summon this card, this is treated as a ritual summon. Then you can destroy up to two cards you control, and if you do, place an equal number of Draco Legend continuous spells from your deck face up on your field. 
That card was a mouthful and it does a lot for the deck and honestly, it is definitely one powerhouse of a card being able to ritual summon itself, not needing a ritual spell, being able to get any of your continuing spells, which is really good. And as a boss monster, it is really powerful on its own. So after that, let's get into the spell cards of the deck. And first off, we have an interesting card, I should say. It's relatively very good, and it is Draco Legend Genesis. It's a quick play spell card, and you can only use one effect each turn among the first and second effect with this card's name, and only once this turn. Add one Draco Legend monster from your deck to your hand, then you can add one Draco Legend Pendulum monster from your hand to your face-up extra deck. During your main phase, if you control a Draco Legend Pendulum monster card, you can banish this card from your graveyard, both this card and one Draco Legend monster. Special summon from your deck one Draco Legend monster with the same original type as that banished monster. So you could banish this and a Draco Legend to summon out another copy of a different of the same Draco Legend so you can go into some interesting plays with your Pendulum monster, but also you could do Exceed plays like Varudrus which, in my opinion, is going to be very, very useful. And overall, this is a very strong card because it's a searcher, places stuff into your extra deck when needed, and honestly, in the future, I could definitely see more Draco Legend Ritual Monsters. Let's not keep people waiting because let's get into the next spell card, and we're going to be taking a look at our lovely Draco Legend Transmigration Ascension Crest. It is a field spell, and you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. When this card resolves, take three monsters from your deck, one dinosaur, sea serpent, and worm, and add one of them to your hand, banish the other, and send the last to the graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent, and worm monsters. Oh my lord. And if you have a face-up Genesis, Draco, Legend, Gaunt, Wanba in your extra deck, you can special summon up to three Draco, Legend, monsters with different types, one from each of your deck, graveyard, and or a banishment. So literally, you're getting a search, a foolish, and a gold sark, which is really powerful. Then, if you have the pendulum monster in your extra deck, you could sp special summon three of them for free, which is very, very scary because that is in range for game. So now let's get into the three continuous spells of the deck, and we're starting off with the dinosaur one. So let's take a look at it. We have Draco Legend, Dino Kano, Ascension Gate. It is a continuous spell, and you can only control one Draco Legend, Dino Kano, Ascension Gate. Draco Legend monsters you control gain 300 attack, and Draco Legend Pendulum monsters and level 10 or higher monsters whose original type is a dinosaur you control gain this effect. Once per turn, when the effect of a monster on the field with less attack than this card is activated, quick effect, you can place one face-up Draco Legend continuous spell you control on the bottom of the deck, negate the activation. So being a monster negate on any of your Draco Legend monsters is very good. That is a dinosaur or the pendulum monster, or even any of your level 10 dinosaurs is really useful. And honestly, this kind of reminds me of how... What was the deck... Weatherly works, where their continuous spells and traps give their monsters additional effects. So that's actually a really nice mechanic to give all these cards. Next up, we're going to be looking at the gate that goes with our Sea Serpent, and we have our lovely Draco Legend Seafall Ascension Gate. It is a continuous spell, and you can only control one Draco Legend Seafall Ascension Gate. Your Draco Legend monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, and Draco Legend Pendulum monsters and level 10 or higher monsters whose original type is Sea Serpent, you control gain this effect. Once per turn, or opponent's turn, you can place one face-up Draco Legend continuous spell you control on the bottom of the deck, then target one card on the field, return it to the hand. Kind of like a Magispector Kirin in a way, and that is actually really interesting. Or it's kind of like a Compulse, but I think Kirin is a better example because being able to just interrupt is really useful at the end of the day and honestly definitely very solid of a spell card for sure and now finally let's look at the respective worm gates we have draco legend worm haze ascension gates it's a continuous spell and you can only control one draco legend worm haze ascension gate 
Any monster sent from the field to the graveyard during opponent's turn is banished instead. Draco Legend, Pendulum Monsters, and Level 10 are higher monsters whose original type is Worm, you control gain this effect. Once per opponent's turn, quick effect, you can place one face-up Draco Legend continuous spell you control on the bottom of the deck, then target one face-up monster on the field, change its attack to zero. So being able to do this during the battle phase is really useful to stop damage from coming in or something attacking over one of your monsters, but it's going to be very rare for things to attack over a 3k beat stick or 3500 beat stick, so that's definitely interesting to see, but realistically, this is one of the weaker ones, and I think it's going to be a one of, maybe two of, if needed, but I definitely see a one of for sure. But overall, reading Draco Legend, finally, Long Hua, I should say, finally, is very interesting of a deck because of the utility that there is between things like a Shadow, DD Survivor, even stuff on the lines of things like Nemesis could be very useful because of what it promotes, being able to recycle banished cards back into the deck, recycle things from the graveyard, or even field back to the deck is very cool. And this is definitely a unique take on a deck design. But I want to know what you all think about this deck down in the comments below. But anyways, I have been Bolt Spider. See you all in the next video, and goodbye.